In Civil Site Design version 18 onwards, users have a new comprehensive and quick exchange process to share drainage design information between Civil Site Design and drains. Firstly, let's review catchments. In the pipes ribbon catchment pulldown, users can specify a drains catchment. This catchment will be exchanged between Civil Site Design and drains. In the form, users have the option to complete the catchment. The form has both the abbreviated and detailed options for the user to complete. You'll note the similarity on the form content between the two platforms. If you're using the abbreviated option, you can simply complete the values and click on OK. If using the detailed option, you have the option to pick the flow path on screen and allow the software to determine the length and slope. Values for additional time and a retardance coefficient can be added, alongside being able to delete the catchment from the particular pit or switch it to an alternative pit. All catchment information is exchanged and populated in the drains file. Next, let's review bypass. In the pipes ribbon bypass pulldown, drains overflow route cross sections can now be specified. The form lists all the bypass that has been specified with the bypass tool you can then determine the drain section to be applied. In the form we can view the pits between which bypass has been confirmed. Picking a row will automatically zoom to the pits being reviewed. You can change the automatic zooming settings in this area of the form. Users can then choose the drains overflow section route to suit our road shape. At present, the Civil Site Design section will become active for a future release. This will allow users to use the Civil Site Design road template as the overflow route cross-section. Users can pick a polyline to determine the length of the bypass if this is not directly from one pit to another. In the final column, users can confirm what percentage of downstream catchment flow is carried by the channel. If at any point you want to remove the bypass information from pit combination, you can pick the clear row button. On completion of the catchment and bypass information, we are now able to export our design to drains. The export button can be found on the pipes ribbon data exchange panel. On selection, we're prompted to pick our drainage network from the screen or right click to choose our network from a list. Drains and civil site design use differently named pits and pipes. This means that a conversion has to take place between them so that pits, pipes and overflow routes can all be exchanged. First of all, let's review the Exchange tab. The Data Exchange interface automatically searches between pits and pipes on both platforms and then populates the table with the civil site design structure and the applied chosen drains family. You as the user can change the drains pit family and the pit size or description to your choosing. If you don't want to apply a drains pit family and a pit size or description because maybe they're not being used or you happen to miss one, you can apply a default drains family and size and description here. Picking the save button will save the table contents for future use on other projects. The procedure applied to the structures can also be applied to the pipes. The Overflow Routes tab is a summary of the overflow routes we have already specified. Clicking the Advanced tab allows you to go in and manage your overflow routes. Finally, let's review the Settings tab. If you've assigned a specified pit inflow for any pits, you can choose your return period to be assigned as base flow in drains. Now we can use the Export to Drains button to finalise the process we will be offered the option to view the file in Windows Explorer to show us where the file is being saved. Let's now open Drains and see how we can import the drainage information. Before we start, we need to make sure we have a Drains file saved with a hydrological model and associated rainfall data. To import our file, we go to the File tab import and choose Civil Site Design file. We can now navigate to our XML file listed in the folder. Once imported we can review and change information about our design. 
if we review the catchments, you can see the information has all been exchanged. The pit bypass values and cross-section shapes have also been shared. Values changed in drains will be exchanged back to civil site design, where the design will be updated. Information that is used with drains but not in civil site design will still be exchanged in the background. These include blockage factors, ponding depths, ponding volumes and pit loss factors. Users can run an analysis of the design and make changes where required. In this example, we're going to increase a couple of pipe sizes to prevent upwelling at pit 1C. After running an analysis, we can then send the updated drains design back to Civil Site Design. Go to the File tab, Export and choose Civil Site Design File. We can then overwrite the originally created file. To import the file back into Civil Site Design, we go to the Pipes tab and click on the Import from Drains button. We're prompted to pick our network on screen and then select a storm frequency. The pits, pipes and HGLs will now be updated to reflect our drains design. To plot this design, we pick long sections and we're prompted to plot the drains design. Picking yes will generate our drainage long sections with the drains design information. 